Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to use a triple beam balance. And before I begin talking about how to use it, we first have to talk about what it's used for. When we talk about a triple beam balance, this is used to measure the mass of an object. Now this is important. We're measuring mass, and I apologize, my cursor is a little bit off today, but we're measuring mass. Mass and weight are different. Mass is how much matter is in an object. Now, we still may use some of the uh, units that we use for mass. So for example, if you look over here, again, hopefully my cursor will bear with me, we have grams. Our unit is grams. And even though sometimes we use grams for weight, when we're talking about a triple beam balance, we're talking about mass or how much ma uh, matter, or how many particles, how much space that takes up. So let's begin to look. Before we use a triple beam balance, we first have to do something that's called zeroing. We zero the triple beam balance. And so what does it mean to zero? It means we set up and take everything off of the triple beam balance and we make sure everything is good to go. If we were gonna play a game of basketball, for example, right, we would wanna make sure everything is set up and ready to go, or that our basketball is pumped up and it's not flat, that the, the height of the rim is set up to what we need it to be. Normally it's 10 feet tall. If we had it at three feet tall, or if we had it at 20 feet tall, that wouldn't be how we usually play basketball. And so just how we set up a sport or a lab or anything else, we need to make sure that we set up everything correctly before we begin to use the triple beam balance to measure how much mass an object has, or what the mass of an object is. So the first thing we have to do is take off everything of a triple beam balance. So there we go, everything is off. Next, you see how there are these little sliders right here? All of these need to be set to zero. This is one of the reasons why we call it zeroing. So if you look at the bottom here, I need to move these things all the way to zero. So that is the last step. And what we need to make sure is that this white part and this black part line up. So if you look at the bottom right right here, this white, the white line of the, the arrow and the black line must line up. That's how we know we're truly set up, we're truly ready to begin measuring the mass. That means that there's nothing on our triple beam balance that all of our sliding uh, masses are set to zero, and that this line, this white line from the arrow and the black line are lined up. Once all of those are done, we are ready to use the triple beam balance. Now, how do we use one? We're going to look at a couple objects and see what happens. So we, I'm going to take the light bulb, for example. I'm going to move the light bulb up top. So there we go. The light bulb is now on our triple beam balance. And I want you to think real quick. I'm going to take it off. I'm going to put it back on. I want you to pause the video. What changed when I put the light bulb on? If you said that this changed over here, that the white line and the black line are no longer lined up, you have some good vision, you noticed right away that something is different, something changed. And so how do we figure out how much mass this light bulb has? Well, it's pretty kind of easy. What we have to do is we have to set up, uh, and we have to, sorry, we have to make sure that the white line and the black line 
come together again. So you see when I had nothing, I had nothing here, the white and black line were here. That means there is zero mass. There is nothing on the scale. But when we put things up, then it begins to change. So we have to make sure those white, uh, white and black line line up. And we do that by using the scale or using these sliders to add mass. And as it changes, we, as we increase mass, it will slowly begin to change. Now, what do we do now? Let's look. You see how this is above the red, the black line? If it's above the black line, we have to add weight. If it's below the black line, I want you to think, what would we have to do? If it's above the white line or above the black line, we have to add more weight. So it, the white line and the black line equal up. But if it's below the black line, what do you think? Pause the video. What do you think? What do we have to do? Well, if you began to think, well, if it's on the opposite, what's the opposite of addition? Subtraction? And you are exactly on point. If we are below that black line, we have to subtract some weight. We have to remove some of the weight. We have to make those uh, sliding uh, rules go down and subtract less weight. So let's see if we can figure out the weight of the light bulb. So the first thing that we do is we always start with the ones places. Just like how when we add and subtract, we always start with the smallest place value. We're always going to, when we're using a triple beam balance, first start to measure with the smallest uh, amount. So we're going to move the, oops. we're gonna move the ones place. I'm gonna move it all the way over to 10 grams. Do you see how nothing changed? We still need to add weight. So I'm going to put it back to zero. And what one do you think we're going to use next? Do you think we're going to use the ones where we're counting by tens or counting by hundreds? If you're thinking like a mathematician, when we're adding and subtracting, we're going to move to the next place value. We're going to increase by tens. So I'm going to move it all the way over. Do you see how it still isn't lined up yet? We need to add even more weight. We need to add more grams to see if we can figure out how much the mass is. So let's begin to do the hundreds place now. Whoop! What happened? What do you notice when we went all the way to 500. If you notice that now the that little arrow went all the way to the bottom, it's no longer at the top, you are exactly correct. And if you remember from our last kind of discussion earlier, if it's below that black line, we have to remove weight. So I'm gonna slowly start to remove weight. 400. We still need to remove some weight. 300, we need to remove some weight. 200, uh-oh, it's at the top again. What does that mean? If you're right, if you were thinking, we have to add more weight. So I'm going to add from the ones place, just like last time. I moved it all the way to 10. I still need to add more weight. So I'm going to put that back to zero. And I'm going to increase it all the way to 100. Uh-oh. It's below that black line. So we need to, to subtract some weight. So it's slowly moving. You see how it's slowly moving? So we need to move even. 
We're almost there. Oh, now do you see how we are above it? Now we have to add more weight again. I'm slowly adding more weight. If I add it all the way to 10, now you see how we're below, we need to subtract some weight. I'm gonna subtract, so I'm at nine. I'm at eight. I'm at seven, it's very close. And there we go. We are at it. So if we look, if we look, we are going to add up everything. So do you see how now we have some numbers? We have 240. So that means we have 200. Plus 40, we have to add them all together. And then do you see how here we have a little bit more than six? So I'm going to say six and two tenths. So that means we have 246 and two tenths. Now let's look at some other ones. And I'm going to go quickly uh, go through one or two more. I'm quick to go through one more and we're going to quickly go through it. So what I do is I take it off. I zero all of my numbers. Let's say I take my cube I need to add more weight. It's above that line. 100, oh, sorry. I start with the tens. I start next with the tens, the ones, then the tens, and then the hundreds. So now I need to add more weight. And you see here, we have to 430. So our triangle, or sorry, our cube is 430 grams. So I hope this helps. Uh, I hope our first, my first kind of longer explanation and that quicker Second explanation will help you figure out how to use a triple beam balance. Remember, quick summary, triple beam balance is used for measuring mass, not weight. We make sure we zero everything first, and then we slowly add and subtract weight to figure out how much mass an object really is. So I hope this video helps, and I can't wait to see you in the next one.